Start. When the music yeah. warrants. We should tell a lady from the balcony just yelled out, can we get up and dance when the music warrants? We're trying to put on a show here and people... A very dignified show. Yeah, they think I mean, it's Roseland. Do you want us to dance together? That brings up a question. I have never seen you sing in a movie. Have I? Well, it depends on how many movies you saw 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, I sang a song in that. That really takes courage because I yeah. don't have a voice. I mean, it's easy to sing if you have a voice, but when you don't have a voice and you sing, that's Yes, an essential that's ingredient courageous. is lacking <laughs> that's right. when that happens. 52 pictures I think you've made, if you care to count them. 52, 54, I don't know. And after, <laughs> after all that time, do guys still come up and say, hey, Blake Lancaster? Certainly. As a matter of fact, it was a, a stranger thing than that. I was one day rushing to an appointment uh, a luncheon appointment in New York, and someone from across the street said, hey, he said, my favorite movie star. I said, thank you, thank you. He said, gee, I'm so nervous. He said, you're my favorite new movie star. I said, thank you. He said, but I'm so nervous. He says, your name went right out of my head. <laughs> well, that's all right. I said, my name is Douglas. Yeah, he said, Douglas Fairbanks, you're my favorite movie oh, star. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's hardly worth it at a moment like that, I guess. No, but I think very often when you meet people, whenever I meet anyone, I always say, hello, my name is Kirk Douglas, because I think people very often, a face is very familiar, and then for the moment, they don't know how to place it. They may mm -hmm. say Burt Lancaster, Robert Mitchum, or something. As long as you're on the screen, though, that's the, that's the <laughs> yes. big thing. Your wife produced the film, uh, did you say earlier, or did I Yes, my wife through that? produced uh, Scalawag, and she also produ will produce my next picture, Posse, because you know what they say in Hollywood. What's that? Oh, I, yes, right. Get, get to the top by sleeping with a producer. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? I, how can I thank you for handing me that joke? <laughs> I'll think some way. People, obesity is, is the national um, epidemic, they say now uh, in America. I heard you talk about that the other day. What do you do each day to stay uh, in shape? Do you have a regimen? So many push-ups, so many this and that? Uh, I used to. That is, uh, before uh, a movie, generally speaking, I do just about five to seven minutes of calisthenics. I think people uh, have a distorted idea that you have to work out for an hour. I don't think that's true. I think if anyone could work out regularly five to seven minutes a day, yeah. uh, you, you see, people don't realize how many push-ups and sit-ups and things you can do just in seven, in seven minutes. Then if you play a little golf or tennis and watch your food, yeah. you, shouldn't have, you, know, you shouldn't have a problem. Of course, a lot of, why am I suddenly becoming an expert on obesity? I don't know, but I think I it, it stuck in my mind that last time you were here, you said a few minutes a day, and I wondered what should that few minutes be made up of? Sit-ups, push-ups? Yeah, sit-ups, push-ups, you know. Any yoga? No, I don't. Yeah. Some, I think whatever, uh, whatever turns you on, whatever is the thing that seems to work best for you. I mean, you never have any yeah. problem with weight, do you? Do you no. exercise uh, regularly? No, but if I did whatever turns me on I for mean, you five minutes a, a day, I, um, <laughs> I, I, what do you think I mean? I, I wouldn't know what to pick is what I was I going see. to say. No, I do a little exercising every day. I used to be a bit of a jock. I'm sure you were. Yes? I, I, I was a gymnast. Would you what? know that to look at me? On what? What? Uh, you're on a, a high I was five? on the so my masterpiece, my specialty, my chef d'oeuvre, was the uh, side horse. Uh, Burt Reynolds uh, finds it amusing to refer to it as the hobby horse. Um, <laughs> at least he did last time he was here. Yeah, but the side and I hope it was. But the side horses, that's a very difficult... Uh, it is a hard... It's uh, a very difficult uh, uh, exercise. It is, yeah. I love uh, gymnastics. I have done a certain amount of it. And it's, it's interesting because it's only within the last a couple of years, especially with this, uh, the Russian girl, Olga Corbett, became such a hit mm -hmm. that I think the world has suddenly begun to realize what a beautiful sport it is. But all my life, I've always thought there's nothing more beautiful than uh, g uh, gymnasts who can really control mm -hmm. every part of their body. And it has all when the beauty I was at, of, uh, at the Olympics, I just loved watching the, the Japanese oh, yeah. team was fantastic. They do things that are impossible. Yeah. The gymnasts just faint watching the, yeah, the Japanese I, I love it. It's a, well, it's like a form of ballet, athletic yeah. ballet. It's such a perfect control of your body. I, I admire that. Like anything, you admire someone who has a, a, a perfect control of their voice and singing mm -hmm. in the same way that I think it's a, an admirable thing to see someone who has a perfect control of their body. Who are the great actors for you in your book? You mean actors who are... Uh, Great screen actors. Living? Yeah. Well, I think uh, Marlon Brando at his best, I think, is can't be beat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Isn't, isn't it generally agreed that Spencer Tracy perfected screen acting to a way that almost has, ne has not been duplicated? Uh, well, Spencer Tracy, I think, was a, of course, was a wonderful actor. But, you know, very often, people are underrated. For example, my all-time favorite, I think, is Jimmy Cagney. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, sir. You see, I just love... All right, you guys. I mean, he has... Not only because Jimmy Cagney not only was a wonderful emotional actor, yeah. but a wonderful song and dance man. Mm -hmm. You know, and rarely, rarely do you find someone that unites those... I mean, when he's doing George M. Cohan and, and that wonderful way he had of, 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 of dancing, you know, it's so masculine. You know, when... Yeah. You know, that, that way he had it. Yeah. Now we're... Now I think... I think another actor that's... Uh, uh, that really they begin to appreciate now because he was so simple. And you watch Humphrey Bogart now and you realize how good he is. I know. He made it, see, Humphrey Bogart made everything seem so simple. Mm -hmm. But to me, Tracy was faultless. I mean, there just wasn't a moment in his career. Well, that... Tracy, if you, if you try to compare them, Tracy had a much wider range than someone, like, for example, like Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey yeah. Bogart stuck to more or less uh, one type of acting. Uh, Tracy had a much uh, wider range. Yeah. Well, we have a 30-second commercial for the 60-second gravy with people at French's Gravy Macon's. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Macon's? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs>